all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that is trying to be a long no buy. And today's video is going to be a little bit about my no buy and uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know how to act. I do have my hair up. I usually don't have it in my videos because I think I look crazy pants but... Yeah, and it's really like I'm looking like this. So the video today is going to be about things that I wish I bought before my no buy. And these are not going to be specific things or one specific, two specific things. But it's not going to be I wish I bought this one. That I'm going to do, if you want this, I'm going to, I, I can make a video about that. But now I want to t talk about things that I wish I had more of in my collection, but I can't buy it now because I am on this no buy. I do hope that you, you, you are with me. So yeah, I'm going to talk about makeup products that I wish that I had more of or I wish that I bought before my no buy because these are things that I now during my no buy and I have changed my preference when it comes to makeup this year, I think maybe in the end of last year I am also <laughs> going to do a video about that yeah for once in the, my YouTube life I have planned things ahead don't know who I am so today as I'm saying for the fifth time I'm going to talk about things that I wish I had bought more of uh, before my no buy the first thing that I wish that I had more of and I do know why I don't have because I didn't like this until like February maybe and that is lip glosses. I know like I don't know where you are right now apparently you are on my channel but me talking about lip glosses if you have been following me you know that matte lips has been my thing forever but then in the end of last year or was it no was it in the middle of last year, I think, or the beginning of last year? I did bought these lip glosses from LH Cosmetics, these Infinity Gloss, and I have loved these. I bought all the three colors. This one in Melamove, I do use this a lot, and I do really like this. They are really like nice on the lips and they are not too sticky and they don't dry down like at all but they do like sink into the lips and they stay a little bit glossy but it's not too much. And these glosses have made me realize that I there is lip glosses out there that I do really like and I think that I could discover more from other brands but I'm not going to do that now so like I have I have three of these and I have some from like Kaleidos and that's it that's my lip gloss story and the end of that and I do wish that I had started to love these more like when I first got them that it didn't take until this year to realize that I do really love them and that I would have bought more lip glosses and also that I bought more cream lipsticks. I have, I did buy these Magistics from LH Cosmetics last year as well. Uh, I have this on today. This is dust pink and I do really love these. These are high coverage do you say high coverage when it comes to lipstick i don't know and uh, it stays on the lips really good and it's really comfortable to wear so i wish that i had like discovered more creamy lip things and uh, not only mattes it is what it is i am on a no buy i'm not going to buy that Another thing that I've mentioned <laughs> in some videos is that I wish that I have discovered multichromes more before this year. I did buy a multichrome from Lethal in the end of last year. Or was it the end really? I, 
I have no idea. I like can't get that it's almost September. When you see this, it will be September and I don't know. Where the hell did August go? And January and February and March and April and May and June and July? I don't know. <laughs> but um, I did buy a multichrome from Lethal as a single and it's also multichrome in the Berlin 89 palette. And I have been like, why? Why hasn't this been a thing for me? I don't know. I have some other multichromes in my collection, but I have never been like in love with them because I I guess I've struggled like to use them. But now like I want more and I want more from Lethal. Like they are releasing new multichromes and I follow them on Instagram and see when they're like showing off swatches on the multichromes and I like why didn't I bought some more? I know why, because they were expensive, but I wish that I had more multichromes and especially from Lethal because I do really love their formula and I wish that just I have gotten more multichromes and from like Menagerie as well because I do really like Menagerie's formula and they came out with this Sugar Rush palette and I was like, it looks so good. So I wish that I had more multichromes. And then we can take talk about face products. I wish that I have bought more creams. I have had some creams and I have had some bad cream products and stick products and then I bought some better ones and then I start to use them more now in my no buy and I have been sleeping on creams. Today, for example, I only have cream products, but like I have this highlighter stick. I do really love it. I have this cream blush from Glossier. I do love it. I have my contour stick cream. I do love it. And I just wish that I have bought some more creams. Like everything creams because I, I do love it. I have some creams, yes, but it is like I have more cream products that I don't like because they aren't that good and doesn't like, I don't like the formula on them. And then I have a few that I do really, really love and I just wish that I have bought more of them, but it is what it is. I do really like this um, not have like too much powder. I do like my powder blushes. But I think I do start to like cream as well. Not as much, but I think if I just have tried more, I think I would have been crazy about creams. So I wish that I bought more cream products because I do really, really like the ones that I have that I like. That are good. That are, that is a good formula. Another thing for eyes, and I don't know why. I wish that I bought this, but I just wish, and that is cake liners. I know that you can with some shadows like do it to a cake liner and I guess maybe with all, but just a cake liner, I don't know, to do dots, to do some lines, even though I suck at it, but I just wish that I bought cake liners and I don't know why because I don't do eyeliner because I know that you can do them on hooded eyes but I have I'm not willing to test my patience with it <laughs> but I do really like when people do like a little accent here with a cream with a cake liner and I just want to be that person but I apparently not and yeah, as I said, I can take like almost whatever palette I have and do it to a cake liner, but it's not the same thing. I want the little boxes, not boxes, the little jars. You say it like that. Burk. Um, I just want that and like spray some setting spray or take some water and just... I don't know why. 
Is this the thing that is happening when you are on an no-buy and have been for eight months that you want to buy things that you have never tried, almost never tried, and know that you are not an expert on? Is this what happening? And another thing when it comes to lips. I do really wish that I have bought more lip pens. I do have some lip pens, but you know what? It's the same like with cream for me there. I haven't bought the good lip pens. I haven't. And I especially wish that I've bought some from LH Cosmetics and they came out in the end of last year. Uh, I don't know if it was October maybe and I was like, I don't need them. I did. I do. But I'm not going. I know that I was close, but then I was like, would I ever buy or would I ever use a lip pen? Because I have lip pens at home that I don't use. Yeah, you would have. I would have. Because they are like creamy, the lip pens from LH Cosmetics. And I do have lip pens that are dry and it's like hurts to put them on the lips. But like just like creamy lip pen. I would have loved that. And take like, take a lip pen, take a little gloss over it. I, I don't know like who I am, but I wish that I have bought that. I don't know why. And another thing that I wish that I had bought, like, I don't use this and I've like never done it, is glitters. I have some pressed glitters in palettes that I don't like that much but just buying like multi-chrome glitter and just have specks I want that but do I have it? no do I think I would have used it? maybe not but that is also like a thing like with the cake liners I do not never ever use a cake liner but I want it and yeah, I guess that, that was all. I thought this video was going to be longer. But I'm, as I said, going to do a video about brands and certain products that I wish that I have bought before my no buy. And yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. And I don't know why, but now like after eight months on my no buy, like maybe I should do more no buy content. Shouldn't I start with this in January when I started my no buy? Yes, I should have. Did I? No, I did not. Am I a little bit stupid? Maybe. Do I think things through? Not always. But yeah, I do really hope that you like this and I hope that you like that I'm doing more no buy content. I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!